And welcome back to the Verizon Update. And as you can see, the winter storm rages on in Orchard Park, and the snow is still coming down. And of course, these conditions have led to the game between the Steelers and the Eagles <coughs> being postponed till tomorrow. But Super Wild Card Weekend rolls on, folks. Later today, catch the Cowboys and Packers on Fox. Then tonight, the Rams take on the Lions over on NBC. And tomorrow, it's our turn right here on CBS with the Steelers and Bills at 4.30 Eastern. Wrapping up the weekend, the Eagles face the Buccaneers tomorrow night on ABC and ESPN. And our coverage begins tomorrow at 3.30 Eastern with more of the NFL today. But right now, we will set the stage for today's battle between the Packers and the Cowboys. You know what, Jimmy? You were talking about the NFC playoff brackets, and we know what's at stake here, especially when you're in Dallas, you're Dak Prescott, you're Mike McCarthy, Jerry Jones. But to me, what I want to see, I want to see Jordan Love. I want to see if Jordan Love can recreate what C.J. Stroud did last night mm -hmm. against the Browns, because that's really the type of defense he's going to be facing today in Dallas. Yeah, no doubt about it. On the offense side for the Dallas Cowboys, I'm looking at C.D. Lamb to continue to keep going. I mean, he's been balling out this season. I want to see what he does in the postseason. The X factor, though, for this wide receiver group is, one, making sure that you get the ball to your number one guy, C.D. Lamb. We see the numbers that support his season. But then you have Brandon Cooks, who oftentimes faces these slot cornerbacks, sometimes inexperienced young guys, and he absolutely gets busy. Another guy you have to keep your eyes on, Tony Pollard. Hasn't had the season he wanted to, only one touchdown in the last five games. He is due for a big-time game. And you talk about Jordan Love, Boone, and talk about him and see what he has to do. But what he's been able to do these last three weeks and these three wins is lean on Aaron Jones because that running game complements everything else that they want to do. And you can see right there, a lot of this comes off the play action. A lot of this comes off of slowing down this Dallas rush. We talked about Michael Price. We talked about playing the hand. The noise. The best way to control that to some degree is running the football with Aaron Jones. Yeah, you know... Um, as we sit here, Nate, you, I think you got a fever for C.D. Lamb, right? Oh, yeah, I love him, man. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah, it. I know, man. You're all talking about it every chance I get, baby. I don't blame you. He is. He does. You know, it's amazing. He's coming to the league. He does look faster and stronger. Yeah, he does. Because that was a uh, knock on him when he came out. Might be a step too slow. But Dak Prescott, trimmer, leaner, throwing it better, moving better. Right. It's definitely changed his career. It's the best year I think he's had by far throwing the ball. Yeah, having an all-pro season, Dak Prescott really showing up big for the team. But you said it, he's trimmer. He can move in the pocket a little bit better. And maybe that's just the result of healing up after that ankle injury we oh, saw a few years yeah, ago. Yeah. So the guys have set the stage right now for that game coming up later. But we take it back to last year's AFC Championship game.